A rape trial for a Beaver Creek man didn't last long this morning. Moments after jury selection started, Jason Zwick pled no contest to one count of rape. ABC 22's Amber Watson was in the courtroom. 30-year-old Jason Zwick showed little emotion in the courtroom as a judge delivered his sentence, the maximum of 10 years to life in prison for the rape of a 10-year-old boy. Zwick was arrested in Troy when officers linked him to a child sex ring. Prosecutors say he contacted the 10-year-old online. And this is the most despicable thing uh, that I've ever had to deal with, and I've had to deal with a lot of ugly cases. This is a guy that's out shopping for uh, minors to have sex with. We're talking eight, nine, ten years old. Prosecutors say Zwick met his victim through Kenneth Brandt, who's been sentenced to 60 years to life for prostituting three boys under the age of 13. The defense attorney says Zwick was misidentified and suspects witness tampering. However, Brandt and the victim were both ready to testify if the trial carried on. I consulted with the child psychologist at every turn. Uh, he, he testified in an earlier hearing when we were asking to have it on closed circuit TV. And he told me the child was strong and that it would be healthy for him to do so. I spoke to a parent who lives in this neighborhood where that 10-year-old boy was raped. And he tells me that 10-year sentence isn't long enough. I'd like to see an answer as to why these things keep happening. I can't even imagine. What, what that would be like. While some are not satisfied with Zwick's punishment, prosecutors are. I'm pleased uh, that we got the life sentence, got the maximum sentence from our perspective. We got him off the street, and we'll go on to the next one. Reporting in Troy, I'm Amber Watson. Now, in addition to the 10-year sentence, Wick was fined $20,000 and will have to register as a Tier 3 sex offender, but he's planning to appeal.